Question four: Who would be the audience for your media product? My hashtag pop party pop music magazine is targeted at teenage girls of all ethnicities between the ages of thirteen to sixteen years. My hashtag pop party pop music magazine can be seen to be clearly directed to them through the use of the colour scheme: yellow, orange, and white. That is present within my house style. These colours are ones that complement each other, helping each other to stand out more to the reader. The colours I have used within the house style of my hashtag pop party pop music magazine helps to connote the feelings of happiness and energy, feelings that we would commonly associate with the younger, more feminine audience, suggesting that my desirable target demographic for my hashtag pop party pop music magazine are young teenage girls. My hashtag pop party pop music magazine is priced to my target demographic at two ninety nine. This was the best price chosen by recipients of the questionnaires I had produced, and is also conventional of pre-existing pop music magazines that are marketed to the same target demographic as my magazine. This connotes that my magazine is sold to younger people that aren't prepared to pay a lot of money for a magazine. In addition, it also connotes that the target demographic of my magazine is to people of working class, so people with a social class of A, B, C1 or C2 and are able to afford to consistently buy this magazine. However, my hashtag pop party pop music magazine is published monthly. This suggests that my magazine will be more expensive like other pre-existing pop music magazines I've analysed like Q, which costs three ninety nine to purchase, but my magazine only costs two ninety nine to purchase, connoting that the readers of my magazine would have less money than that of people purchasing the Q magazine, which we know is true as my target demographic is young teenage girls. The length of time between my magazine's release dates and the cost of my magazine suggests that my hashtag pop party pop music magazine will obviously be of better quality for readers. This appeals to my target demographic as if they pay a lot for a magazine then they expect good quality for what they pay. In addition, the fact that my hashtag pop party pop music magazine is published monthly tells us that the articles that are present within the magazine are more generalised articles which reflect on the exploits from the previous month. In addition, within my hashtag pop party pop music magazine, the colour scheme residing within the house style and the images presented to the readers of this magazine help to connote my target demographic. The fact that the artists on the front cover are new and fresh to pop culture suggests that the target demographic for my magazine would be between the ages of 13 to 16 years of age. In addition, the fact that the artists present within the features of my hashtag pop party pop music magazine are of different ethnicities and backgrounds connotes that the target demographic for my music magazine is of a broader sample radius. Within my hashtag pop party pop music magazine, it can be seen that I have placed my target demographic of readers subjectively in accordance with my magazine. I have done this by promoting the use of phrases like we talk to and we get to know. This helps to interact with my readers and make them feel as they are being personally involved within the stories featured within the hashtag pop party pop music magazine. In addition, within the masthead of my magazine, I have presented my readers with a question, are you ready to party? This further helps to provide interaction between my pop music magazine and my target demographic as it addresses them directly. This appeals to my readers as they can again feel more involved with the magazine as they are being personally asked a question by my magazine as soon as they pick it up and start to read it.